Business strategies change as the globe changes. People are seeking business strategies that they can start with no money. So in this video, we'll discuss exactly that. I'm about to present something interesting, independent company models that I suggest you should start thinking about and pursuing if you want to start your own business soon. There are many gurus and business coaches available online. Most of them act as though starting a successful business and becoming wealthy takes only a few weeks. But as you are surely aware, this is not the case in reality. If you have little to no initial funding, you will need a lot more time and expertise to start and thrive in business. Today's video aims to demonstrate how you may start a business with little money and grow it into something significant. You will begin as an independent worker to do this. You won't have any employees, so you'll need a wide range of skills at first. You'll be responsible for finding customers, converting them, building a pipeline, delivering a great customer experience, delivering a product, and receiving payment. With time, you'll hire people and delegate the majority of the labor, particularly the tasks that don't pay you, but are still necessary. And you'll grow into a viable business with employees. There's a clear differentiation between working in and working on a business. When you work in a business, you're responsible for everything that is required to keep it running and fulfill orders. This may include things like creating bills, ensuring that everyone pays what they owe, and even cleaning your own workspace. Working on a business includes developing strategies, managing staff, dealing with clients, bringing in new business, and closing deals among other things. Working on a business, on the other hand, is ultimately what will bring you the most money, whereas working in a business will be essential at first in order for it to run smoothly. So far, does everything make sense? Let's get started! Number 1. Content Creation If you enjoy vlogging, blogging, or talking to the camera, content creation is the way to go. All you have to do is learn how to create and entertain before narrowing down your team. You must be very particular about what you do, just as you must in the other two models. Don't talk about everything. Instead, pick a single topic and stick to it. This might be a pastime of yours. The stranger, the better. If you enjoy something, chances are that someone else will enjoy it as well and will be willing to watch your films about it. The method you make money with this depends on the platform you use and the topic you choose. You can absolutely monetize, but if you use TikTok for example, it's far more difficult to generate substantial money. As a result, you can begin selling physical or digital things, exclusive content, early access to content, courses, and ebooks are examples of digital products. Physical items could be niche specific, such as a mountain beginner jersey with your mountain biking channel logo on it, or traditional merchants. Number 2. Sales From cold calling to closing and sales management, everything is covered. Without a sales department, most organizations would go out of business quickly. The goal here is to get into closing, particularly high-ticket closing. Sales of products or services that cost $5,000 or more provide you with tremendous possibility to generate endless profits as long as you're good and know what you're doing. Even a 10% commission on a high-ticket item might be as high as $500 or more. Even if you only made one sale per week, you would make $2,000 or more. Closing is also preferable to cold calling since it is more efficient and takes less time. Calls are significantly longer, some lasting up to 30 minutes, but most cold calls are massive failures. However, if you want to get into closing, Cold calling is the way to go. It's a lot easier to be hired as a closer if you already have some cold calling sales experience rather than none at all. It's a terrific way to find your first clients and as time goes on, you can develop and build a small team of closings that you can delegate without causing health problems and keep a little part of your sales as passive revenue. Number 3. Content Creation for Marketing Copy refers to the words in an advertisement, rather than design or graphics of that advertisement. This is someone else's job. 
content creators. You can specialize even further by opting to develop a certain type of material. Video production, design, graphics, and branding are some examples. Managing advertising campaigns on certain platforms, the most popular of which is Facebook. Approximately 3 million businesses are currently advertising on Facebook, Google Ads, Bing Ads, and shockingly, Instagram advertisements tied to Facebook. Twitter ads, LinkedIn ads, and more are all common platforms. Rather than trying to analyze all of the platforms and working from there, learn how to use them to generate results, then identify clients and begin managing campaigns for them. This involves things like conducting target market research and, well, understanding platform regulations. So before moving on to the next business models to evaluate, consider the following. I want you to know exactly what you'll need to get started with them. First and foremost, you must master this skill. Therefore, this is the study portion. Nonetheless, the improvement of your skills should never truly end. Why? Because the market will not stop for you. It will continue to move forward and if you stop researching and better yourself, you will gradually become irrelevant and eventually fail. It will most likely take you 3 to 4 months to master the fundamentals of those talents. So take your time, I'm not here to tell you you can get rich quick with this. It's a slow but steady process that's probably a lot better than attempting to get rich quick, which involves a lot more danger and frankly, far too much effort and sacrifice. But anyone can do it. Number 4. Copywriting Copywriting is an essential component of marketing. Without it, an advertisement or campaign would flop. It's the portion that motivates people to act, whether it's to make a sale, collect someone's contact information, or even close a deal. Copywriting is the art of closing in print. It's similar to employing a salesperson. However, it's a written piece of content that closes individuals automatically. Copywriters are experts in persuasion strategies that convince people to buy. Basic tactics include appealing to people's emotions, addressing their pain spots, and successfully and non salesy presenting the goods. People buy with emotion and then justify the purchase with rationality, copywriters say. This suggests that the most effective technique to persuade someone to purchase something is to appeal to their emotions. How? Here's an example. Bill and Mary, his fiance. The area's lockdown has just ended and they are now allowed to go shopping. Mary asks Bill for his credit card while they're at the mall. Bill provides her the money she needs to buy something for herself. She returns 15 minutes later holding an expensive looking handbag. When Bill asked how much she spent, she said $500. How could you spend that much on a handbag? Bill scoffs. That's around a third of my annual wage. So what were you thinking? Well you see, it's actually a bargain, Mary says. I saved 30% on it compared to what it would have cost if I had bought it later. It's a huge savings. See what's going on here? Mary is currently using reason to justify her purchase. She bought something that was only available for a limited time. So what emotion did she spend her money on? Why would someone buy a new handbag in this situation? They want to feel better, more confident, earn praises, and look good. This is an extremely emotional situation, which is why Mary purchased the items in the first place. Copywriters do something similar on a daily basis. They identify people's emotional attachments to items and use that information to close the sale. Number 5. Marketing Expertise Okay, here's a controversial opinion. It's easier to specialize in a specific subset of marketing, rather than dealing with all marketing in general. This is what I mean. Recently, everyone has been talking about SMM and SMMA, which stand for Social Media Management and Social Media Marketing Agency, respectively. Those are fairly wide tasks, and if you start an SMMA the way most gurus advise, you will generalize. You can't expect to be able to help everyone. An agency that does everything badly is usually an agency that does everything terribly, and even if it doesn't, the market will have a negative perception of you. Here's an example, to put things in perspective. Assume you're a restaurant owner specializing in Italian cuisine. 
with a large location in New York City. However, you're having trouble filling the restaurant owing to COVID-19. As a result, you'll need a social media marketing approach to attract new clients. You have no knowledge of what's going on. So, if you had to choose between an agency that does everything and one that only focuses with restaurants, which one would you choose? Which would you be most willing to pay for? Most significantly, who do you believe has greater experience? The apparent answer to all of these questions is the one that only works with restaurants. This is known as positioning in marketing, and it is extremely important. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment for more content. See you on the next one!